All right, so um, before we get into percent proportions real quick, I just, I just want to review what, what is a proportion anyway. Um, so uh, a proportion is this. So first start with a ratio. Um, so three, three-fourths is a ratio. It's a comparison of three to four. Um, and a proportion would be uh, something, an, an equation that says that this ratio is equivalent to um, this ratio. Uh, so yeah, three fourths and six eighths mean the same thing. So this is a proportion, or in other words, six six eighths is proportional to three fourths, or three fourths is proportional to six eighths. So, um, and I mean this is kind of trivial. Uh, what you'd really use this for is if you if you don't know one of these numbers, you know, then you would solve and figure out well what out of eight really is equal to three out of four. So a, a percent proportion is is a proportion like this where where one of these ratios is something out of 100, and that's all that percent means. It means per per 100. Cent means 100, like uh, 100 cents is a dollar, a century is 100 years, yada yada. So um, a percent proportion is a proportion where one of these ratios is something out of 100. So I've got a couple word problems here, and what I want to do is first translate um, the situation or the question into English, to sort of just rephrase it in English, and then I'm going to I'm going to translate it into math to kind of show you that process. So, um, so first one, um, I can see 342 blueberries in these blueberry bushes. Uh, I'm going to eat 57% of them. Uh, so, 50% 57% of the blueberries that I can see. How many blueberries am I going to eat? So I could, um, so let's. Let's pose the question. Let's, let's rephrase this situation uh, as a question um, that's a little bit more precise. So maybe something like, how many blueberries out of a uh, total 342 blueberries is equivalent to 57 out of 100? That's a, that's a way I could rephrase this situation here. I'm looking for a certain number of blueberries out of 342. Um, is equivalent to 57 out of 100, also known as 57%. So let's write that in the language of math. So how many um, would be would just be x? We don't know how many. It's an unknown quantity so far. How many out of out of a total of 342? So right here we have how many out of 342 is equivalent to 57 out of 100. All right, so we've set up our uh, proportion here. Let's go ahead and solve it. Um, the quickest way would be it's kind of like a little shortcut. You cross multiply and then divide, and kind of like cross multiply and then divide, and boom, that's your answer. I'm going to do it out a little bit um, more slowly. Um, the, the the second fastest way would be to cross multiply. So x times 100, or 100x, uh, equals, and then cross multiply this way, 342 times 57. OK, so let's say it was time. 342 times 57 is 19,494. Is that what it, yeah, 19,494, 19, and uh, 100x is, is equal to that. So to solve for x, we divide by 100, both sides by 100. Um, so divide by 100. 194. Point nine four blueberries. Now, you know, point nine four blueberries. I guess you eat everything except for like that kind of little crunchy part of the top or something. I don't know. Um, so, one hundred ninety four point nine four blueberries out of three hundred forty two blueberries is equivalent to fifty seven out of one hundred. 
so that's 57% of uh, 342. Alright, let's, let's try another one. 23% um, of my 54 hens are laying eggs in the orchard. Are laying eggs in the orchard. In the orchard. Uh, how many hens are laying eggs in the orchard? Um, so let's, let's rephrase this as more precise uh, uh, English. We could, so we could say, how many eggs out of, uh, or how many, no, how many hens out of 54 total hens is equivalent to 23 out of 100? Out of woo, <laughs> out of 100. Um, that's what this question is asking us. How many hens out of a, t a total of 54 hens is equivalent to 23 out of 100? So let's let's start doing our math. Um, so how many hens out of 54 total hens is equivalent to 23? out of 100. So let's let's do the, the slightly quicker way where you just kind of roll a few steps into one. You multiply, cross multiply, so you do 54 times 23 and then divide by 100. Um, so let's do that there. 54 times 23 divided by 100. 12.42 x equals 12.42 hens. And of course, this is a slight nonsense answer because uh, 0.42 hens doesn't really mean anything. What's, what's you know, what's 42% of a hen? 42% uh, of a hen can't lay eggs. Anyway, um, so, you know, think about, you know, maybe I could round this to 12, say 12 hens. Point being, 12.42 is exactly 23% of 54. Uh, so that's the process. Um, Another no little shortcut here on the side here. 23% is a, in decimal form is 0.23. So I could actually do 0.23 times 54. 23% of, of usually means multiply. This is, so 23% of 54 is, uh, 0.23 times 54, and you'll get 12.42. All right, so um, translating into more precise language and then um, into a, a, an equation so we can solve it. So good luck with your percent proportions. Hope you have a good time.